Good morning, everyone. Well, bright and early. Um, I had trouble sleeping. So I just, I, I opened my Bible app and I was just deciding, well, I'll just do it early, which is always better anyway before my kids wake up. Um, but I wanted to share it with you because it was a reminder for me as well that uh, even though we see all this like hate going on in the world and we're wondering where God's at or, or what God is doing in the midst of that, like how how are we going to have faith in this time that that we're living in? And he's he's in those moments when you're when your kids are coming up to you and, and giving you that hug, or making you smile when all you want to do is frown and, and be upset. But the moment that they look up with their awe-struck eyes <laughs> in wonder of their imperfect parents and just t taking in that moment to go, you know, I was not feeling anything of joy until I saw you, my child, looking up to me. And that is God's love. That's the, uh, that's the strongest example that I can give of God's love. And God's love speaks his creation, his creation, sorry, his creation speaks his love. That was another word that I wanted to share with you as I uh, ran across this verse. And let me go ahead and show you it. It's from the YouVersion Bible app. And so it's right here where it says, your love for one another will be proof to the world that you are my disciples. But it's even more here in this prayer. God, thank you for being the perfect example of love in a world that is filled with hatred. I want to choose to love others like you. Sometimes it's hard to love those who have hurt or wronged me. In those moments, I ask that you will give me the strength to choose love. And I pray that because of this, others will know that I belong to you. In Jesus' name, amen. That's not... It's definitely not an, an easy thing to accomplish either. Choose love. You know, that means that we have a choice in it. And, and it's, it's hard. There are times where I want to choose to be angry and I want to I want to choose to be upset you know and I want to choose to um to just you know have have my moment or whatever that moment is um like and that would be like you know completely opposite of of what I should be trying to do or or say um but remembering how I feel when uh, how much better I feel and and how much my heart just melts when my boys come up and just give me that warm embrace or those cuddles like Xavier does or those moments where Christian's being silly and uh, and I, I'm glad that he doesn't see yet, you know, those moments when mama's sad or, or mama's hurting. Um, all he wants to do is sh show mama like how much joy he's having in the moment, how much he loves and cares for me. And that is the way God feels about us as his children you know we are loved by him even though we are imperfect people you know there's no perfect person out there um now i know a lot of things didn't make a lot of sense to me 
in, until I um, had my own encounter of a uh, a relationship with a God that I only heard about, that only read about, but became very real to me when I made that decision to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And so um, when I came to Jesus, it was definitely because I I needed help. I I tried looking for help, like the song in says in all the wrong places, and um, and it's not just about drugs and alcohol. It's not just about addictions, but also with people because people uh, are gonna fail us and people are gonna hurt us, and because like I said, we're all imperfect people. So um, I'm not sure what you may be going through, but I, I just want you to know about God's love for you, how he feels about you. And I'm not talking to just Christians. I'm, I'm talking to everyone. Everyone God loves. God loves everyone. And he wants you to know that whether you are for him or against him. He feels the way that I feel when my boys are looking up to me in those moments, even when they're in trouble. And uh, I don't want to have to tell them they did something wrong. I don't want to have to uh, cor- correct them in, uh, in in different ways, you know. Um, but I know, I know that, uh, I don't want them to get hurt and I don't want them to feel alone and I don't want them to be lost and, and whether or not we think we're lost, whether or not we think we are hurting, um, just like children don't always recognize they hurt themselves, but lately, like, Christian comes to me every time he he hurts himself in some way shows me exactly where the booby uh booby <laughs> where the boo boo is <laughs> anyway yeah so there's a laugh um but yeah so that's what you get from me at like six in the morning um I've been up for a few hours going you know god I can't go to sleep and I know that um in the past when I have asked God just like God if you want me to know something or pray for someone whatever just help me right now to find that answer so I can go back to sleep um just know he's always thinking of you always praying for you and always having people like me up this early in the morning to share with you a message that you may be looking for. And so I want to sum it up this message, of course, with saying if you are interested and want to give Jesus a shot, just repeat after me. Jesus, I recognize that you are God's son and that you came into the world not to condemn the world but to save it. And I ask that you would save me from the hurt and pain of my past and my present and my future, that you would be that Lord in my life, the one that can can help me in my times of need, the one that can be there and walk alongside me and help me not to feel alone or feel lost that I would be found in you, Lord Jesus. And I thank you so much for everything you did. Even though I may not fully understand right now, I know I will understand later. And as I learn more about you, I know that I will understand more about what you've done and why you did it and why you did it for me and that I would experience God's love, his unconditional love for me. And I 
pray that I would just feel his embrace around me as his child. His loving arms just embracing me right now. In Jesus' name, in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for giving me this time to share with you. Now, as one of the loving pastors in my life spoke over me a while back in my darkest of moments, a verse from the Bible right here. May God bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and give you his peace and go in that peace. So I summarized it a little. <laughs> it's hard to remember all the verses, right? I love you and take care.